Developing now, armed and extremely dangerous at the nail salon. They're prone to pull out their guns. This one pointed at the head of a woman. Chicago police want nothing more than to put these robbers away. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is in Roscoe Village where the gunman caused chaos. She joins us live after speaking with one of the salon workers, Roseanne. Right, and she is traumatized, Rob. Police say that they believe the robbers hit Roscoe Village and Saganash, and these are places where people go to relax, and instead they got the scare of their lives. Very terrifying, really. It's very scary still in my mind. This is the image locked in her mind. Two robbers, one gun in hand, standing in the Roscoe Village nail salon she manages. It got worse. The robber puts a gun to the head of a customer. Yes, I couldn't believe it. You just dove under the table. Uh huh. They grabbed me, get up, and then checked, asked, "Where is your phone?" I said, "I don't have phone." That's Erica on the ground as other customers sit stunned before giving up their cell phones and money. It was just shocking to hear that something like that was happening here in our little safe, tight knit neighborhood. Yesterday, police say the same two offenders struck this nail salon in Saganash. Again, surveillance cameras are rolling, capturing some clear shots. This customer came today just to check on workers. Because I know the girls, and I just want to make sure that everybody's okay. No one got hurt. Back in Roscoe Village, doors are locked and store owners are on alert. Couldn't believe it, and I was really shocked. Doing what they can to keep their businesses safe. And a dog in the business, not a bad idea, police say. Back in November, there was a series of other salon robberies. Police, Chicago police are not saying whether those are connected to these, at least not yet. Live in Roscoe Village, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica? Yeah, what a frightening experience. Thanks, Roseanne.